This is Reverend Dr. Michael Vanderpool talking today about intuitive astrology consultations and uh, intuitive astrology in general. I particularly uh, want to point out that you can reach me at universalstar.gs. That's http semicolon forward slash forward slash universalstar.gs or www.omsh.net. And in uh, previous videos I made reference to um, how intuitive astrology can improve your life and it's particularly um, applicable to matters of life and death. Um, I'll give a couple of quick examples. Uh, currently I'm making this video um, at the time from Belize, the Republic of Georgia. And uh, the date today is July 25th, 2011. So, um, there was uh, a time back in 2010 where I had uh, been looking ahead in my own astrology charts and also that of my uh, family and friends and some clients. And uh, I was seeing a time ahead um, about four months at that time looking ahead where um, when I was speaking to my father and that uh, he would... Uh, be very busy, very, a, a frantic pace, very busy, and uh, he was working in a very large farming operation, very large, and uh, about a four or five man team, and um, it, w it is, as most of you may know in Missouri at least, or the Midwest, in fall or the autumn period, especially in September, it's a very, end of September, it's a very busy time of year uh, for farmers. So. Um, this is one of the things he's doing. He does many things. He's a professional guide uh, at Truman Lake. He's also a, a YMCA aerobics instructor, and he's done this for many years. And uh, he's uh, done a lot of other things as well. So uh, he uh, is a very hard worker, very busy. And I told him, I said, look, I see some things here in the charts that indicate that, uh, look, there's going to be a lot of family around. Uh, there's going to be... Uh, you, you, you may be prepared for disruption, be, be ready to stop what you're doing because, uh, you know, there's going to be something. And because uh, he had a grandfather, his father, my grandfather, um, a World War II veteran uh, and uh, lifelong family uh, a leader, a great person, a great human being, a great man, and uh, really the head, the leader of our, of our family. And uh, he had uh, he had already had cancer and been dealing with um, that, and uh, he was uh, getting even more ill at the time. And uh, but no one really knew what to expect in the situation. They didn't know if it'd be some more years that we would have him around, or if it would be a shorter time. And he asked me, he goes, "Well, do you, you know," I said, "Well, I don't know if it could be involved uh, with him or not, but." Uh, you know, need to be prepared for interruption at that time, and I just see there's, there's going to be a lot of family around and, and so on. So, and in my personal charts, I knew and understood that I was literally uh, between a rock and a hard place, as one of the transits was called. And um, I just felt and knew that there would be a big decision for me to make at the time. And I was uh, overseas, uh, as I am now, uh, in this same location, actually, and trying to finish up some things that needed to be done that I was... Uh, accomplishing. And uh, it was not a trip that I wanted to make, not at that time, except that uh, when the time came, I had spoke to my grandfather. And I just understood that, and I knew that this was the rock and the hard place that I'd long foreseen. I knew and understood after our conversation, I needed to go home. I had to go home. Uh, this would be the last time with great probability that we would uh, spend time together. I have another grandfather uh, who at the time was uh, there too that I would visit as well, who also had a uh, previous bout with cancer. And uh, we would soon learn later that uh, both grandfathers were battling lung cancer in the end. So I uh, I flew. I made the decision to fly. Within 12 hours I was uh, in the air and I was on my way back to the United States. 
and I uh, had a lovely, uh, good, uh, important time with family for about a week, week and a half, and then my grandfather, uh, one of my grandfathers, went into the hospital, nearly died on the way there. Uh, they were able to, uh, uh, you know, bring him back to a certain level of health. Uh, my father was called uh, out of the fields that day, and at about a, a market price of profit value of $30,000, it's kind of an important notice to have known that maybe that day of uh, work, that day of productivity is going to be interrupted. Uh, certainly, uh, his, uh, some of the people familiar with this um, prediction, this astrological uh, heads up, uh, had commented to him, well, you know, Michael's right again. He was very upset. And he, uh, But I didn't predict death. Not this time. But I did uh, give the heads up that there would be a lot of family around and there would be a disruption, and there was, and we were there at the hospital. And uh, it's uh, an entirely different story. I won't go into all the details, but I, it was priceless. And I was there. And thank, thankfully, for the intuition, the insight, and yes, the stars uh, that I was able to see. Because usually, uh, years ago, I didn't have this knowledge. Uh, and I was overseas at the time in Kiev, Ukraine, um, shortly before the Orange Revolution. And my grandmother Dorothy had passed on and she last spoke to me from a hospital bed, and she too had passed away of cancer. But this time was different. This time I have looked far ahead, and I pay more attention to my intuition, and I saw by stars that it was going to be a very difficult decision, in fact, a difficult journey. Pluto was involved in a Grand Cross, and I decided to leave anyway, and it was a difficult trip. I had uh, a, a flight canceled within the last uh, 15 minutes or so of boarding, those of you that are international travelers can know the joy. I'm being sarcastic, of course. That's involved in that. At a very large international airport carrying two laptop computers and uh, another carry-on piece back and forth. And um, it seemed like miles by the time I got one customer service mistake worked out with another customer service desk that was coincidentally on the other side of the large international airport. So in any case, uh, Pluto, to me, sometimes symbolizes death. It's not the only thing. Of course, it can symbolize uh, illness and uh, other things like police, mafia secrets, and so on. And I, I learned that many years ago from another uh, astrologer that is not doing um, Magi astrology. But when I applied it to Magi astrology, I found that, especially if it's in a grand cross, that it can certainly be symbolic of that. And um, Unfortunately, uh, around uh, the week of um, preceding December 11th, I was then able to see in my own chart in this very way, in this very specific technique, and also in my father's chart, that uh, the grandfather's death was near. And I had actually told a couple of close family members that they should go on out and visit, that this would, would probably be it. I was uh, had returned to Belize. Republic of Georgia to finish what I had come here to do and to take care of, and uh, but I was able to see that, and you know I had uh, a difficult time with uh, the death, of course, but I had a very good peace and priceless treasure in the knowledge that gave me the ability to go when I went and spend that time before he was sick. And the same with my other grandfather, who I literally was able to spend some a very great day with. In fact, it's on a video. It's on YouTube. My mother has a nursing home, residential care facility, and uh, it was just a wonderful day that we were able to spend together there. So, uh, to me, it was a priceless knowledge. It was beyond. Uh, you can't put money on time spent with family before uh, their final uh, departure if you will. And, uh, you know, it's a little strange to have somebody in the family that has this kind of knowledge, that's developing this kind of skill of intuition, of foresight, of astrology, and looking ahead, and uh, 
other things like that, but it's yet a, a beautiful, it can be a beautiful gift and a blessing. There was another time where I called from Panama, I was in Panama, and I called my father, I was looking at his stuff, and I said, look, you need to be very, very careful on this one particular week, it was about four to six weeks ahead. I said, it's either going to involve you or somebody very close to you, it could even involve death. So please, please be very careful in that time. That time came, he was in uh, another family member's house, there was somebody that had been in, in our family more or less as a, a close one for 24 years. He shook hands with this woman. She was using a walker. 15 minutes later, you know, he was busy uh, doing something there, and uh, 15 minutes later, the woman <laughs> fell dead, boom, in the next room within that exact week of time that I'd warned him that specific morning. My mother said one time, uh, look ahead for me and see what's going on. So I did. I looked ahead, and there was a specific week, and again, about a month or two ahead, and I said, look, um, I don't know who it's going to be, but I know that you need to be prepared. It could be uh, a death, because again, Pluto was around her. So easy for me to see. It's not always the case, of course. Pluto can mean other things, a lot of other things. But uh, that week uh, was involving her uh, nursing care facility. Somebody was uh, admitted to the hospital from her care and uh, that person died, and she had to deal with all the things that are involved in that, including the grief of losing someone, and all the other technical matters, such as the arrangements and uh, things that nursing homeowner and operator has to do. And uh, there's other situations where we've been able to predict accidents before they happen, uh, problems in businesses before they happen, and the whole thing is, is not to say, oh, I predicted this. The whole thing is to say, look, here's what we see coming. Here's a coming storm. Here's a coming time of turbulence. And here it can involve business. Here it can involve death. Here it can involve an accident. And there was another couple of such cases. I was able to look ahead uh, and see uh, around uh, my mother, uh, a Grand Cross. And it involved this time Chiron and Mars and... Uh, to other planets, and I said, you need to be very careful in this particular time because there could be some sort of an accident, and there can be some confrontations, and there can be some double turbulence in that kind of way, and you need to be very careful about that because if it's not going to involve you directly, it could be around you. That week, uh, somebody was driving her truck, happened to be my brother, and uh, he almost, uh, truck was almost totaled. In fact, they had questioned whether it was told or not for some weeks as the insurance adjusters looked at it to make that decision. So, it was exactly within the week that I had given her that caution warning, that heads up, that astrological heads up. So, um, but uh, they were able to... Uh, redo the truck, you know, to uh, fix it, and um, it wasn't totaled, and thankfully my brother uh, didn't sustain any serious injuries, but, uh, you know, we're able to look into business and see, you know, when there's turbulent times in business, and you can make decisions and insight in business in terms of, you know, how to deal with these turbulent times, and whether that's going to be a short period, like as in a week or a few days, or whether it's going to be a, a longer period of time that needs to be a different strategy applied and different considerations looked at. So, this is just a short, quick example. I have many more, and they're real life, and there are witnesses, and there are people that can verify and testify to my words that I've just said. And it gives testimony, most of all, to the power of astrology and intuition. And especially uh, the benefit and the beauty of being able to look ahead and plan and to be able to better strategize and minimize, we hope, uh, chances of failure and perhaps uh, to be a little bit more safe and to avoid uh, the greater blows of fate, if you will, to pass the tests and trials that life presents us, as the doctrine of the Magi has always taught us, and uh, at the same time maximize chances of success, something that every uh, U.S. president may have enjoyed from the late 1700s until, the until uh, 1933 at minimum, 
when every U.S. presidential inauguration took place, uh, I think most everyone of them did, on March 4th, for the reason that Sun was uh, trying Jupiter, a day of protection, peace, prosperity, and luck, at least, at, at least in that one aspect. True fact, check it out, most of those occurred on those days. And uh, so anyway, lots of interesting knowledge to be learned. And um, again, I'm Reverend Dr. Michael Vanderpool. Please check out my YouTube channel if you're watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. If you're on Facebook, check me out at Tiger7170. That's T-I-G-R-7170 at my YouTube channel. Also, Universal GS or again at www.omsh.net or my eBay store, OMSH, that's OMSH Books and Services. Obviously, I do astrology for entertainment, but I've also used it for matters of life and death because in death is the teacher teacher that life has limits. Live for today. And I think in that saying and in that wisdom, we will have a greater chance of enjoying our tomorrows with no regrets and living a more full and purposeful life. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.